You're listening to Masbach Radio with uplifting music and real life stories of our amazing God and how he's working in our lives. And we love sharing those stories with you because God is the same for you as well, my friend. What do you need today? Are you in need of healing? Are you in need of a miracle? Well, today you're going to hear a testimony of what God has done for Pastor Chadwick Mohan from India and what God has done for him. He can most definitely do for you as well. Pastor, thank you so much for sharing your testimony here at Masbach Radio. It's an incredible story of healing. Amen. And as we said, there are a lot of people that need healing. Absolutely. So please share with us, what has God done for you? Yeah, in the year 2011, by then I had actually been a full-fledged pastor for so long and I've seen miracles and signs and wonders in the lives of people. But uh, one night I just had fevers that started out and I thought it was just normal fever and it didn't run a cold or a flu but something was troubling and then I thought okay just go about the second day the fever existed and therefore I started to pop out a little bit of tablets like uh, paracetamol so that's your usual right and just run about and when it's the third and the fourth day you become a little concerned and and so you approach a doctor and the doctor is trying to run out some blood tests and the blood tests all of them come negative and so you're so intrigued by this behavior of the fever and especially the pattern of the fever was that it would just pop out at two in the afternoon and then it'll continue on till 2 a.m and so it was very strange but then the doctors couldn't find what it is and so they started to pump into your veins and to your uh, arteries about like a concoction of antibiotics because they wanted to make sure that the fever is gone 10 days go by and then you're really concerned and so you're moving from one doctor to another and then you're still praying and by that time you are worried is there any sin in your life that is causing and because each one is giving different suggestions and then you're confessing all your sins and you're coming to a place where you're even confessing sins that you have not done because you're so frustrated because it's your 10th day and, and it's painful with all those medicines that are pumped in and by the 10th day you're feeling so exhausted because of the fever. So we started to pray together as family. And so my dad, who's a pastor too, and he invited us as a, as a family together, along with the others in the family. And so by then, we, uh, as an individual family, me, my wife, and my son, moved into our uh, dad's home because I was getting real sick. Wow. And then we started to pray, but the fevers actually continued on. I would just be able to do Sunday services. Apart from that, I would not be able to do anything else because I, I would be having strength enough to go and preach and come, but through the week, it'll be so exhausting. Right. But we started to pray together and then God began to reveal deeper that it's just not something physical, but there were certain things in the spiritual realms that were happening. By then, we had built the fourth floor of our church building and that's where our English service started to meet. And with that, there were certain things that certain people were doing against the church. They were coming into the church and placing witchcraft materials inside the building in order to assault um, the ministry. And so I was on the forefront doing all of the things in the English service, which met together on the fourth floor. And so we started to detect that there were lemons with certain kinds of uh, a red kind of a substance that has been used in other religious materials that were kept inside the church and certain witchcraft scrolls that were kept inside the church. As we began to pray, God began to reveal certain things. Is that a common thing in, in India? Very common right. thing where people just do witchcraft against right. one another. And this was specifically against the church. And then when we began to pray on the 40th day of my fevers, the Spirit of God gave a very strong word in the middle of the night because I've started to cry out unto God and saying, God, this is truly frustrating. And God said, I am your healer and I will heal you. That's the number one thing that he said. Secondly, he said, you know, there are people who 
go through sustained sicknesses, I want you to continue to pray for them because when it's a short term of sickness, it's one thing. But when someone goes through sustained sickness, it really has, uh, it becomes very difficult for the mind. And you have experienced that. And I taken you through this journey to help you understand sustained sicknesses are difficult and you need to be praying for such people with sustained sicknesses. I'm going to heal those people. But by the 45th day, one morning, everything was gone. I was completely healed, completely set free, completely delivered. Wow. And so I want to thank God for that miracle. And I believe God is a miracle worker. He is a healer. And he continues to heal people even today. Amen. 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 And what the doctors can't do or what the doctors give you as a report, that is not the final report, we believe. Absolutely. And I think there's a lot of you that are listening right now that either you yourself or maybe a loved one um, is sick or even, like you said, going through a sustained period of sickness. Mm -hmm. It's so true. That is really hard on the mind. And it it will attack your faith because in the beginning, maybe your faith is up here yeah. and you want to believe for that healing. But when it takes some time, your faith is really being tested. Um, what is what is a posture that we can have during the period of waiting on our miracle? That this God is always for you, not against you, because uh, seeds of doubts start to flood your mind. Yeah. Oh, or sometimes we feel like we have done something terribly wrong. That we've been punished. Yeah, like you're confessing all these yeah, <laughs> things that maybe aren't really even there. Yeah, uh, because that's that's the culture that we live in. That this God is a God who punishes you. Uh, so, I think we need to remove such doubts because this God is a healer. He is a good, good God, Amen. and He desires your healing. Amen. 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 And prayer is so powerful. Perfect. Yeah, so let's pray for the people. Would you do that? Yes. Could you pray whatever's on your heart? Mm -hmm. um, I think especially for the people that need healing today. Absolutely. Go ahead, Pastor. Father, we thank you because you are a healer. You are a God who comes through in the times of our weaknesses. And I pray the blood of the Lamb, O Father, that was shed on the cross of Calvary is not just only for the remission of our sins, but I thank you for the healing of our bodies. Our Father was bought on the cross of Calvary. Amen. So we pray, Lord God, wherever people are and whatever sickness that they're going through, I pray in the name of Jesus, may your nail-pierced hands, O Father, go and touch them. Touch them at the place that they need a healing. And I pray for the internal organs of people. I pray, Jesus, that you will touch and heal. I pray for creative miracles to happen. I pray in the name of Jesus that migraine headaches will leave right now. I pray, Father, for back pains to leave. I pray, O oh Master, sugar diabetes, set right in the name of Jesus. Blood pressure, set right in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Father, for cancers and tumors to disappear in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the healing power of Jesus that's alive and well. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. And he is healing each and every one of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And we want to celebrate with you when you receive your miracle and stand by you as you are waiting for the fulfillment of that promise. So send us a message if you want. Download the free Mosque Radio app and tap on the connect button. We would love to hear from you today. Thank you, Pastor, for sharing your testimony and praying that powerful prayer. There is no distance in prayer. Amen. So we believe that wherever you're listening from, the Lord is coming to you with his healing power. And let's believe for that today. Amen.